What's up everybody, it's Mark from 403 Fauna. On today's video, we're gonna take a look at this vision rack and fill it up. So let's call it collection tour number three at 403 Fauna. Also, we'll get a sneak peek at clutch number four, which is really exciting. I hope you guys stick around and check it out. Hey, it's been a while since I updated you guys on the Freedom Breeder Fund. So the goal here is $3,000 made from snake sales and you know I'm, I'm way down here so i've been selling pretty much my male ball pythons for peanuts to my students and you know i've made a little dent in it i've got a ways to go i will tell you man if i decide to sell some of the snakes from my latest clutches i'll definitely make a huge dent in this but i've got that hold back mentality so we'll see what happens okay so let's take a quick tour of this freedom i'm sorry this vision rack, you know, this will tide me over until that Freedom Breeder rack comes in. But this is the 35 tub, and it's pretty much like a sub-adult tub. And I've got some cocoa chips here. I'll put the water bowl and the snakes in here for this video. I went with a dark gray tub because here on these vision racks, it's pretty much open on all sides. So this will provide the privacy that the ball pythons need. And I'm gonna go with no hide in this also. So this will be pretty much a hide for them. So we'll see how the snakes react to it and if they love it. What's pretty cool is that they do have these sliding name tags, which will keep them in place because these tubs slide very easily. Now you can see this rack jiggle. It's pure plastic, but you know, that keeps the cost down. And I'm, I'm really satisfied with the quality of it. The heat, is pretty stable from top to bottom, maybe like one degree drop. So I'm gonna keep my females up top, my males cooler because their sperm's gotta be cool. So yeah, I'm really excited for this rack. We'll see how it goes. I think there's room for some expansion here. There's our mascot here, Chopper. And yeah, let's take a look at the snakes that will go in there. First snake here, top shelf. Her name is Doubtfire. She is a Mojave. Nanny, yellow belly, het desert ghost, 50% possible het cryptic. And I got her from Brian Carter of BC's Balls. So, you know, I've hatched out a lot of Mojaves recently. And if you've watched my videos, you know what they look like. Take a look at what the Nanny does to the Mojave alien heads. Really granites it out and makes it pretty crazy. Now, when we get some desert ghosts in here and hopefully she proves het cryptic, it's gonna be an amazing combination. So top shelf here, Doubtfire, Mojave, Nanny, Yellow Belly, Head DG, 50% possible Head Cryptic. Next up we have Bubba. Bubba is a Yellow Belly and she's a 403 Fauna production. She was the first snake I produced under this label 2021 born and I'm super proud of her. She's doing great. And you know what? She might be the first snake to kick off my morph market. I'm gonna set up a morph market this fall break. And I think Bubba here will be the first one up for sale. So if you want a nice female yellow belly with some good size already, let me know. I'll give you a great price for it. So Bubba, yellow belly, 403 Fauna Production. She's an awesome snake. Up next, we got Bubba's sister. Her name is Scarlet. She is a black pastel calico yellow belly. Now look at how crazy her pattern is. Her colors are perfect for the fall season orange and black. Look at that belly. Oh my goodness. So the combination of calico and yellow belly just makes that belly super extreme. She's definitely staying in this rack. And you know, the way she's eating, who knows, she might make the 23 season pretty late. So we'll see. So once again, 403 Fauna production there. Her name is Scarlet, black pastel, calico, yellow belly. Okay. 
Tub number four is gonna go to this wild type. I decided to name Salt. She is one of two sisters I got from Brittany Gobble of Gobble's Reptiles. She's not only wild type, but she is a carrier for genetic stripe and enhancer. So she's a normal double head enhancer G-stripe. Female, slamming frozen thawed rats, putting on some good size, doing great. This little Cinnabon is the sister of salt, appropriately named Pepper. She is also from Brittany Gobble of Gobbles Reptiles. So a normal female double head enhancer G-stripe. One of the males we'll see later in this video is going to go perfectly with those two. So once again, Pepper, normal double head enhancer G-stripe. Next three snakes we're gonna see are all sister holdbacks produced by me. They are either ember or vanilla. Ember is a different line of fire and they're all 50% possible triple het for VPI Xanthic, Puzzle, and Hypo. So I had to hold all three of those girls back and wait till the very end of this video and I'll share with you potentially a future mate for them that I just hatched out that's gonna go well in this project. So this one is Bonnie, 403 Fauna Production. Vanilla or Ember, 50% possible triple het. VPI Azanthic Puzzle Hypo. I'll quickly go through her sisters because they look very similar, but the colors are coming in really nicely. Beautiful snake. Here we got Tamuga, the Mojave Het Monsoon. Now this guy just cleared the blue phase and should shed any day now. So I sprayed down his enclosure with some water. I noticed these vision racks, they dry up pretty quickly. So gotta keep an eye on them when they're in blue, make sure the humidity is up there. So once again, Mojave Het Monsoon from Dave Green Reptiles. His name is Timuga. Up next, we got Gacy. Now the consensus on Gacy is that he is a super pastel because he was sold as a possible super. So super pastel, leopard, clown, het desert ghost. So a super pastel clown is referred to as a killer clown. So I decided to name him after John Wayne Gacy. Look at that head. I know some people don't like pastel on their clowns, but look at how creamy and just incredible this snake is. He's gonna do some work for me this year or this coming year. And I'm really excited to have him as part of the 403 Fauna team. Look at him dig. What an incredible snake. Right here, we got the future boyfriend of Salt and Pepper. He is a butter desert ghost, het genetic stripe, 50% possible het hypo. I got him from Osman Reptiles. Just an incredibly clean snake, and I can't wait to get him in the rotation this year. Last but certainly not least is this Pastel Hetari I got from Hardwired Exotics. Now he's in blue right now, so he's not looking his best, but this guy will serve as a backup male this year, and we'll see how Hetari does with various things mixed in, but it's a granite type morph, so it should be cool. Nice addition to have as a 403 Fauna team. Okay, so I got a couple of slots left. 
after this breeding season's over, I'll be looking for some powerhouse males just to go with some of the holdbacks that I have. Now, before we leave today, let's take a look at a very special hatchling and I won't say anything else. Thank you.